you guys remember, I called the Luca would pretty much do exactly what he's doing right now. It was only because I went over and actually saw it for myself multiple times. While having some rookie moments here and there, he's no doubt been a stud for the most part of the season. But he's got a move that's been catching everybody's attention. It's a step back. What makes it so effective? Why is it working in a league full of the best athletes in the world? Let's get in the lab and do a little breakdown. This is what I Before we get going, I want to thank our sponsor, Squarespace, for giving me the opportunity to design my own website the way that I want to. Whether it be blogs or a shop for my merch, Squarespace got me on the right foot. If you're looking to create the next movement, go on squarespace.com right now, sign up and use the code word in the lab and I'll give you a little discount to start you on the right foot. Those ideas that you have, somebody might beat you to it if you don't get going on it soon. So why is this step back working so well? I think that there's a lot of reasons actually, but in order to get closer to those answers, let's take a look at someone who's probably the best at it, James Harden. Luka is about 6'7", James is about 6'5", maybe 6'6". Luka is 218 pounds, James Harden 220. So there is a comparison there, but one thing both of them are really good at is using their body, especially when attacking a rack. Obviously, being this big helps when you're driving, but then on top of that, both guys can hit shots. If you look at these guys in the warm-ups, they're hitting 8 to 9 out of 10 shots from NBA range. Knowing that defense can't play too far back or too close sets up so much offensively. Now, here's the key for me. Change of pace. I wouldn't consider either one of these guys to be fast, nor do they play that way, but I do consider both Harden and Doncic to be quick. For the most part, the defense never really speeds these guys up. When this move works for Doncic, normally he's moving slow. Watch how his pace changes. Luka on the bounce, shot fake. There's seven now on the shot clock. Bogdanovich up on him in the corner. Luka with an incredibly difficult point of three. Here's what you need to understand though. Luka played overseas where the European style of offense creates a lot of closeouts. The hardest thing to guard in basketball. So no matter what you see on ESPN, a lot of his step backs happen when people are running out at him, and he's built for those moments. All the defender's momentum is headed in one direction. Luka attacks in the opposite way, loading off that back foot, then hits you with an explosive step back. So let's talk about the direction of the step back and which one is easier. Normally players find it easier to step back the opposite way of their dominant hand. So right handers are more comfortable stepping back left. The reason why is because you have to shoot back over your shoulder when going to your dominant side. When Dachis goes left, he's already square. Going right, he has to lean back and kick out that leg in an attempt to get back square. Here's an example of Dame doing it right. Lillard picked up by Ingram. Lillard. This is for the win. Normally when Doncic goes right, he stops on that inside foot, brings the ball back between his legs, and as soon as that happens, he gets his feet back square as soon as possible. You can see it on this clip. He almost has a little bit of trouble getting his left foot set. Ball still goes in anyways. So lastly, look at the different ways that he does it. Most often he'll attack left, dribble the ball hard, and step back at the same time. Going right, he'll snatch it back between the legs, then you'll see him step back with the ball still hanging in the air. Some think it's a travel, but it's not. The key is that he's on balance on most of these shots, which is what I would recommend for anybody watching this video. I'm praying that we don't see kids throwing up air balls because they watched the In The Lab video. Remember, master the fundamentals first. Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and remember to turn on your notifications. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year.